So here we are in Erlum, which is the, the west side of Norwich. Right behind us is, is the church St Anne's, which is one of the three Anglican churches uh, in this parish. The university, the University of East Anglia, is just a few minutes walk up the road. It has around 17,000 students. And the, the parish of Erlum has some really weird, kind of strange statistics compared to the average in the diocese. Uh, in the diocese, when we look at young adults, in each uh, parish has an average around 32% young adults. In Erlum, it is 53% young adults. It is a massive mission field. There's also a huge need. But this church is in such an amazing strategic location. It's such a busy ring road. There's some amazing opportunities ahead. We're going to begin by starting a new congregation to join in with what God's already doing and to, to complement what's already taking place. The vision, the values, simply to know God, to make him known and to do it together. The great commandment, the great commission and the new commandment. The great commandment to, to worship God, to love him with all our heart, soul, mind and strength, that we are, we are wired for relationship with God, to love him. And then the great commission to go and make disciples, to share the good news. We have the greatest news on planet Earth to share. And then the new commandment, to love one another as he has loved us. To be a place which, where it's genuine, authentic community, where you can know people and be known. To know God, to make him known, and to do it together. I'm sure I'm not the only person who meets so many people you think that either the church is just completely dead, boring, maybe just irrelevant to their life, or maybe they think that their life is just too messy, too chaotic, that they're unworthy, that they wouldn't be welcomed in church, that they've done so many things wrong that if they walked into a church building, the, the roof would fall down on top of them. But when we see the Gospels, when we see the life of Jesus, Jesus met the people on the fringes of society, the least, the last and the lost. When I walk around and see so many people, I think, do they know, do they know the greatest news on planet Earth? That God loves them. That when we were still far off, that Jesus died for us. That he came to bring life and life in all its fullness. And it's not about building a, a, a church building and filling rooms and filling venues and building my church or building your church. It's about filling heaven. It's about reaching the unreached. So how can you get involved? First of all, and the most important thing, is prayer. When we pray, things happen. Prayer makes a difference. Unless the Lord builds the house, the workers' labour is in vain. Will you commit, will you stand with us, to pray with us, to see God's kingdom come in this area? Another area, maybe financially, there's a, a few things that we need to purchase to help kind of get a new congregation started. Maybe a one-off gift, maybe to help buy some of the kit, to kind of partner with us in that way. Maybe even to commit um, monthly giving, even if it's a small amount, just to partner with us to help kind of get ministry going. Maybe that God is even stirring you, calling you to be part of this new venture. That sense of kind of joining in with what God is already doing. We would love to hear from you. Please go to our website and partner with us. God's church is on the move.